I love nostalgia. I think everybody watching this video can relate to that. I like the feeling of, I like the feeling of comfort that nostalgia brings me. The fact that I can boot up a game that I used to play as a child and I can find comfort in it still in my adult years is awesome to me. I like the idea that it can be a good thing, but it could also be a bad thing. And I'm going to explain that in this video. So the thing about nostalgia is that it could be a double-edged sword. It could be either good for you or it could be bad for you. It has really good stress relief, like it could relieve stress, or it could be a bad thing. Basically, nostalgia in a bad way could can stop the growth of um, a person. It could stop you from experiencing new things. And I think that could be either a good thing or a bad thing. It just depends on how you look at it. I like revisiting games, but I also don't let it bother me in the fact that I can experience a new game that has come out and enjoy it the same way I can is with a with a game that um, I used to play as a child, what I'm talking about. And there are a lot of people out there that um, experience games when they were young that may, it may not have been the best game or the best polished game out there, but the reason why they like it still to this day and that they defend it all the way down to its core is that they, they loved the feeling that they got when they played that game as a kid. So they're forever going to be blinded by nostalgia, which could be a bad thing. And it could also, with my personal experience with nostalgia, is that I really enjoy playing PlayStation 2 games. I grew up in the PlayStation 2 era, um, going into the PlayStation 3 era, and I personally think that it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Too much of anything is really bad for you, um, I'll say that. So if you're only playing, if you're only playing older games because you feel like you're going to go back in time and feel like a kid again i think that could do more harm than good and the feeling that you're not evolving you're not growing you're not going past a certain point you're not being able to experience new things because you're blinded by that nostalgia like i said earlier but i also think it could be a good thing because you're you're relaxing your mind you're giving your mind a break from all the all the stuff from well this is from a video game perspective but you're giving your break from your your mind a break from oh it has to be heavy graphics it has to be 60 frames locked it has to be all this stuff right you're giving your brain a relaxation because of how simple older games used to be at least from my personal opinion that like older playstation 2 games older playstation 3 games and all that fun stuff right at least that's what i've gotten from it um i think it could be more it can do more harm than good though um i really love nostalgia i like the feeling of being able to play a game and experience it like I, I'm a kid again, you know? I think I think it's a big topic of discussion, with especially with YouTube and the gaming uh, community or whatever. But yeah, it could become a problem when you don't, when you're not growing past that certain point. I think it's good to um, have nostalgia. I think it's good to uh, be nostalgic for certain things. But if that's all, if you're stuck in the past and if you're not growing, if you're not improving, it can do more harm than good. It's like because you're blinded by nostalgia you're not able to experience the new games that have are becoming out because you're too busy playing games that you grew up with and i think that can do more harm than good like i said like me right now i'm playing borderlands 2 i've grew up playing this game and i really like the feeling of booting this game up and playing it like i played it back in the day but i know that hey the third game came out uh, Borderlands 3 is out and the fourth game is coming out I'm gonna give it a try because I like the new experiences that the newer games are, are putting out but a person that is blinded by nostalgia will look at the newer games and be like it's you know it's not it's not as good as the 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 older game it's not as good as Borderlands 2 or whatever which you're okay to have that opinion but I think the reason why people don't like it is because it switches up a formula that they're used to you know same with like Black Ops or Call of Duty Black Ops uh, two. I think uh, a lot of people, when Black Ops 2 came out, right, everybody loved it. The maps were great. The uh, zombies were amazing. I absolutely love Black Ops 2 zombies. But then when the third game came out and they started introducing like the gobble gum or like they started introducing different, different maps and stuff, it wasn't very well received at the time. And now that, and now that the game is almost, you know, 10 years old at this point, uh, it is, it's become nostalgic for a lot of other people, which 
is weird to me because when it first came out, it was not well received, at least from what I remember. Um, if, it, if anybody wants to correct me in the comments of this video, uh, please do. But from when I, when I, when it first came out, I don't remember it being very well received and because people were comparing it to black ops 2 and i think that's where the issue uh stems from is that most people don't want to improve they don't want to move forward they don't want to figure out new experiences they want to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and i think that is very harmful in the long run i really do believe that like how are you supposed to grow it's like it from a from a game uh developer standpoint how are you supposed to grow if you keep doing the same formula over and over and over again like you're going to get burnt out you know like that's not that's not at that point it's not even fun anymore you're playing it just to play it so i think change is good but also being able to go back and, and enjoy old experiences is healthy. But I think when you indulge yourself too much in uh, old experiences is where it becomes a problem. And from what I was just talking about. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just yapping. You know, I, I, I yap a lot in these videos. But yeah, you guys seem to like it. So if you guys like these type of videos, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subs, which is actually kind of insane. <laughs> Thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. If you guys want to leave a comment under this video, uh, I'm going to do a Q&A uh, probably in the next video. I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So if you guys want to ask me some questions that you're curious about um, or any topics that you guys want to hear about in these videos, just let me know and I'll probably do a video on it and I'll give you a shout out. I'll uh, put the comment in the video. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a Q&A uh, next video. So if you guys want to leave a comment, um, I will definitely i'll put it in the video if I, if I think it's an interesting comment or i think it's something that i would like to discuss on a video so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate everybody like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye